Hey guys, you're with me, Kevin, your scuba professional, and today we're here to have a look at the Sea Life Sea Dragon 2,500 lumen video light with base tray that we've got available on our site. This is a great generic light which can be used with any camera that has a uh, housing on it because the base tray fitting is a universal fitting. So first off we see that it comes in this really funky Sea Life box, it tells you all about the features on it over there, and uh, it's got a few pictures of a few fish. One of the main benefits of this light, as I'm unboxing here, is that it is so bright that it brings out all the natural colors of the reef system itself. So uh, if you are using it to take video, the colors are amazing. So you can see it comes in this really funky hard cover sea life box. It's got some nylon covering on it just to give it extra protection. On the inside there's a lot of padding over there so it's great as a flight case. On the inside we're going to pull out our bits and pieces. There's a full instruction manual which you can hang on to and have a read. There's some of your warranties and guarantees etc. Hang on to those. And then in this packet here is a, an extra set of o-rings as well as some silicone grease. You need to be very careful which greases you use with these lights because some of the petroleum based ones will eat through the o-rings so it's very important you only use the highest grade dive safe silicone grease so uh, in the packet itself we have the light with the base tray we're just going to stand that guy over there i'll get him to look at you now hello um, we have the battery and we have the charging system We'll move this guy out the shop too. So uh, we'll start with the charging system, get to the light last. With the uh, charging bits and pieces, we're going to open that up into a great little charging case. You have a number of different adapters for charging. So you have your two prong plug which goes to your base tray over here for your battery. Always a good idea to charge this up fully the first time you take it out. And then as far as the charger is concerned, there's a number of different adapters depending where you are around the world. So you've got your angled one, ooh, slippery guy. You've got your angled one, your three prong over there, your South African standard, and then your European standard. Top tip from me, we have had some people buy these and go, the chargers aren't working because they see this little section over here. Just take this guy and then slide it right in thinking that this will just get it to work, thinking that this is the perfect way to slot it on. What actually happens then is this: these connectors do not make connection here. You actually need to make sure that you remove this. So you push your fingers in, take that out, and replace it completely with the charger that you need. There's nothing worse than having bought all this fancy gear, getting on a boat, going to the Red Sea, and faffing with these little things to go, mm, it's not working. And then you can't get hold of me because you're on a boat in the middle of the ocean. So uh, just remember, to clip it out and put the original unit on based on the connector that you need. Don't click these together, please. So uh, that's just one thing to remember. In fact, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave this on so the next person that buys this has the right one. All right, so those are the chargers over there. I'm gonna move that out the shot. Then onto the light itself. It is on a Sea Life standard base tray, which has a universal screw at the bottom. So this would screw into the base of any um, camera with housing. I uh, just need to check the GoPro ones, you need an adapter for that, but any of the other housings has a generic size screw which will fit this on. You've got a great arm uh, over here for you to hang on to, and then the light itself can be adjusted and swiveled around. These are what we call cold shoes, meaning that they can be quite easily disconnected and clipped out, so you can extend this if you wanted a bigger video light to be higher out the way, so you don't get those hot spots. This is a two and a half thousand lumen light the battery goes at the back with your on off switch there so let's just uh, screw it open and we can pop the battery in there is a mounting ring over here as well for a lanyard which i think is a really great addition as well and i can see that this unit is double o-ring sealed so there's two o-rings on the inside there very important please when you guys are prepping these units make sure you do this in a clean environment in your cabin on the boat not out on the deck and definitely not on the beach rather do it at your hotel room so you don't get any grits of sand and bits and pieces stuck in there so if i take the uh, battery out that just slides straight in like that and then you need to make sure that the o-rings are lightly greased not too greasy they just need to have a nice sheen on them and then you can just twist this guy closed and then when you turn the light on, you just push this button. I'm not going to shine at the camera, I'm just going to do it down on this on the table over here. 
So if I hold it on, there is a two and a half thousand lumens. So you see I've got quite a hot spot there, but if I shine it up on the, the screen behind me, you can see that that gives a nice even light. So if you were filming something with video, you wouldn't get one of those hot spots like that. You're looking for that nice even light. So this would work really well. And this three adapt, this three settings to it, this is 100%. If I push it one more time, oh, there we go, that goes right as much. So there's its brightest, there's a 50, and then there's a 25, and then back up to the brightness as I go through it. So three different brightness settings over there. I'll do it here for you to see as well. Super bright, less bright, less bright. So it's a 100%, 50 and 25. And then to turn it off, you just hold the button in. One, two, three, it flashes and turns off. One of the great things with this light is the fact that it has a built-in strobe and SOS function. So if you are ever come to the surface and you are in distress or lost at sea because the boat has lost you on a day dive or night dive, you can just hold the button in. One, two, three, four, five, and you'll see there is your standard strobe function. If I push it one more time, that's going to go to the SOS. So you can see the one, two, three, long beep for save our souls. So this is a great little safety adaption which has been built into the camera as well. To turn that off, I just hold it in, one, two, three, and then that turns it off. So you've got your three light functions, which gives a nice, um, a nice solid beam across your video so you're not going to get any hot spots with your uh, strobe function for getting someone's attention and your SOS if there was a problem. So there is the review of the Sea Life Sea Dragon 2,500 lumen base tray with video light which has got the 120 degree angle there with the rechargeable battery and all the little bits and bobs that come with it as well as the additional o-rings. So that's quite an in-depth review of this little guy. Lots of information, even if it is a lot. But lots and cameras and cameramen, the guys really want to know their info. So there's your breakdown on that. If you guys are enjoying these product reviews, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go over there and click subscribe. And we'll keep you up to date with all the detailed reviews that we do on video lights and cameras and all the other cool Scooby gear that's available at the moment. You can also go check out our social streams. Give scuba.co.za a search on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and TikToks and all of them. We're bound to come up because we put cool things on there every now and again. So that's it from me, guys. And I look forward to seeing you really soon in the water.